Lighting equipment should be hung in a secure and proper manner. For extra security, instruments should be fitted with a safety cable. This cable goes on first and comes off last. For most spotlight installations, finger tighten the C-clamp, then proceed with the rest of the adjustments. This means that the C-clamp is wrenched tight into the pipe batten. The holding bolt is snug at the yoke. Any adjusting knobs are checked to be sure they are also snug and can be easily moved later when focusing takes place. Safety cable all accessories to the spotlight so they cannot accidentally fall off. Double check to be sure the spotlight is hung with the correct side up and that the gel frame opening is in the top position. Never hang lighting equipment on steam, water, electrical conduit, gas, or fire sprinkler pipes. Notice how the electricians tie their wrenches to their belt loops in a nifty fashion, either with a rope, bungee cord, or retractable cable. In a pinch, a long shoelace might do. It looks great, too. Anyone going to the grid should empty pockets, secure glasses with a strap, and be sure all tools are tethered to a belt loop. Heads! Here's another tip, safety sidekicks. Don't leave gel frames, wrenches, clipboards, tools, or supplies on gutters or catwalks where they can be knocked off and endanger people below. Crew members should know the location of the master electrical panel. In an emergency, it might have to be turned off. Ladders around the electrical area need to be made of wood or fiberglass in order to reduce the severity of electrical shock. Aluminum ladders and scaffolding conduct electricity caused by an electrical short often traveling through the person holding the malfunctioning equipment. Fiberglass and wooden ladders do not conduct electricity and are much safer around all electrical equipment. An A-frame ladder is helpful for focusing spotlights. Be sure at least two people are available to foot or secure the ladder when someone is above. OSHA, stagehand unions and many theaters have strict rules on the use of ladders and lifts. Be sure you know the rules that apply to your theater. Whoa, look what's happening here. Don't leave materials or tools on ladder steps or top shelf. Lifts are great for servicing areas far above the stage. For necessary stability, make sure you have someone there to spot you. And put outriggers in place. When moving any lift, be sure the floor is clear and that there is nothing overhead to block its path. If in doubt about the condition of the floor or the competence of the movers, Get down and walk to the next location. When using heavy lifts on temporary platforms, be sure the less sturdy flooring can accommodate the additional weight. Secure and cover cable running along the floor to help prevent stumbling and damage to stage cables. Use wide tape, flame retardant carpet, or a commercial rubber gutter to help smooth out the floor. Secure extension cables together to prevent disconnection and a possibility of electrical short or fire. Gables coming to a lighting instrument need to be tied right here next to the C-clamp so the electrician has plenty of flexibility when focusing and the cable can't be pulled out of the plug. Never coil or wrap cable around pipes, raceways, drop boxes, or floor mounts. Wrapping or coiling cable around metal objects can cause a magnetic field. Cable should be bundled and tied. Use the shortest extension cable possible. Be sure the cables and plugs being used can safely carry the electrical capacity of the equipment being served. Deviations from rated capacity can cause overheating and fire and have led to many deaths. Easy to follow capacity charts are available in theatrical supply catalogs and from electrical suppliers. Theater cables and instruments take a tremendous beating. Keep an eye out for damaged cables, especially at the plug. If there's wire exposed, or no strain relief in place, fix it. Don't attempt to use any electrical items that are not in proper working order. If you have asbestos-covered cables on old twofers, get rid of them properly and buy new non-asbestos ones. Have a certified asbestos electrician retrofit spotlight cables with new fiberglass or high-temperature SO rubber-covered cables. OSHA requires that the work area be kept clean and safe. Hang up or store extension cables at every opportunity. This prevents tripping on cables and keeps cords and plugs in better condition. In areas where scenery and lighting are fighting for space, watch for the fire potential caused by closely focused or overheated spotlights. 
Wear gloves when working with spotlights. They reduce injuries from sharp metal and hot equipment. Cracks in the protective shield on HMI lights release ultraviolet light that can cause skin cancer and eye damage. Halogen lamps should not be touched with oily objects, like the human hand. Oil creates a hot spot on the glass and causes it to burn out very quickly. Use the manufacturer's plastic sleeve, a handkerchief, or any other clean object when installing these lamps.